Hey, and welcome to the closed beta of Snappify Slides. Although we think that the current version of Snappify Slides also already brings good value for creating presentations, um, I just want to state that we're still in early development and any kind of feedback is of huge help to us so we can improve the product. Um, we're really moving fast, adding more features. And if you have anything in mind, like a feature you would like to see or something being done um, differently, then please don't hesitate to reach out. Now I don't want to waste your time, let's go right into it and I want to show you how you can use Snappify Slides to create your next presentation. So as you can see here, I'm on uh, the Snappify canvas, I have a new snap being created and now what's new is here on the bottom the panel where you can add different slides. When you add a new slide, it will take the background of the first slide so that your um, new slides are in the same style. And uh, here on top you can see a button where you can delete the slide. You also have a context menu for every slide where you can delete it, duplicate it or start your presentation from this specific slide. In order to have elements being animated between slides, they have to be linked to each other. This can either be done by just copy and pasting an element from one slide onto the other or by simply duplicating a slide, which can come in very handy when you have more elements on the slide which should be linked to each other. The animation itself works like this, that the state of a linked element um, is being animated from the previous slide to the next slide. So for example, when I go here to the first slide and uh, change the position of the code editor, change its scale, maybe also its opacity, and then Snappify Slides will automatically animate the code editor element from this state to this state. So for example, let's start our presentation. And this is the first slide where I have the first state. Now I press the right arrow key, go on to the next slide and Snappify automatically animates the element onto the next state. So it's pretty simple. You just have to define the initial state and the next state. And this can be done from slide to slide. Another thing I want to mention is that we already implemented code change transition, which can come in very handy if you want to show different changes in your code. So when you select the code element, you can see a new tab here on the right toolbar called animation, where you can change the transition of the element. We have already three different transitions. You can try it out, but for now I will show you the morph transition. And now I will duplicate this slide and add a bit of a new code like give the function a name, move the parentheses down here and also add a console log statement. And now when I start the presentation from this slide and um, change onto the next slide, the code morphs and it gives a cool effect where you can show your viewers uh, changes in your code. Actually with Snappify Slides it's not only about presentations but also about animated content in general, like when you want to post an animated um, code on social media or something like this, this is definitely also a use case we want to cover. And for now it's not possible to export a video from your slides, but it really works well if you just record your screen while presenting, basically what I'm also doing here at the moment, and create a video out of this. Um, we already have some users using it like this and this will definitely be the go-to way now in the beginning. So you can just record your screen, click on present, and then uh, navigate through the slides and have uh, an animated form of your content. So um, yeah, basically that's it from now. We are heavily working on this and uh, also extending it with new functionalities. We are posting updates on Twitter almost daily. So yeah, just stay tuned. And um, again, thanks for helping us test. Your feedback is really super valuable to us. Thank you.